You look at the competitions and you look at these bodies and yeah. they are, I mean, it's just unbelievable. Brian, you were the, the reporter on the story. You know, well, what did you think about this whole... Well, whole it's so fascinating, you know, and, and Brandy talked about this uh, in the piece, which is when you start to lose a certain aspect of your femininity, you have to dress it right away. Definitely. Like you were concerned at the time that your voice was mm -hmm. dropping. And I'm always in and, tone. and hair growth. And hair growth. Because you take steroids? I do openly. Um, take testosterone to be a, a woman and take any kind of steroid you know it doesn't you don't just become a man overnight so it, it's it's a long progress of taking stuff maybe even abusing stuff um, not letting your body rest what's also interesting and, 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 and sad about it is and, and Brandy can speak to this better than I can which is just despite all the sacrifices people like Brandy make you're not gonna get rich doing this sport the women are woefully underpaid and then I think the story took an even stranger turn when you talked about something called mus muscle worship, there are guys out there who fetishize, is that the right word? Yeah. Women with extremely muscular physiques. They're called schmoes? That's what I think a lot of the women call them schmoes. I think it's a bit derogatory um, to c consider somebody who maybe appreciates a, a muscular physique to call them a schmo. Um, but yeah, a lot of the female bodybuilders, in order to supplement income for their sport, they have to do um, what I guess is a muscle, muscle worship session where they meet guys and the guys can rub on their muscles. Or they, they can, do it online. Or, yes, they can oh, do right. it online. Right. And yes. they can request the, the uh, bodybuilder to do certain poses for mm -hmm. them. Right, and if they, they pay like, for that. It's yeah, a if they like niche. thighs, yeah. they'll do that. If they like biceps, you'll do that. And I had no idea this whole world existed. It is freaky. It's, <laughs> it's freaky, but it's lucrative. It was a fascinating piece. And can you imagine sort of not doing this? I mean, at 35, are you going to become a school teacher or something? No, I mean, actually, this my, my bodybuilding is my business. I'm an entrepreneur, and, and I... Are you going to stick with it, though? I sure am. Female bodybuilders can go to their well up in their 50s, and they look awesome. So you just have to really measure yourself, keep people around you that are objective, and you have, you know, balance. You, you have to have some emotional... I think, uh, in self-awareness. Right, because yeah. you have to be concerned about the things that you're taking to build the muscle. Are you worried about the impact they might have on your health in general? No, I'm very healthy. I'm more he I mean, I get my blood work checked. I have a sports medicine doctor. I mean, I, I'm very healthy now at 31 than I was even when I was like 18, 19.